Practice test two, listening part one. For each question, choose the correct picture. One. Which boy is Carol's brother? Oh, there's my brother. It's his first day at school today, Mr. White. Do you mean the boy with the trousers and sweater on, Carol? Not him. My brother's wearing jeans today. He doesn't like wearing trousers, and he's carrying a sweater but not wearing it. Oh yes, I see him. Two. Where's Michael? Where's Michael, Mum? Do you know? He was on the computer earlier, but he isn't there now. He's gone to bed because he's not feeling very well. Oh, is he okay? Yes, but can you put his bike back in the garage? He's left it in the garden. Three. What time does the film start? Hello, it's me, Susanna. What time does the film begin? Is it eight thirty, Dan? Hi, that's right. But the doors open at a quarter past eight, I think. Shall we meet at ten past eight outside the cinema then? Is that okay? That's fine. See you later. Four. What's the weather like now? The weather isn't very good again today. When will the sun come back? I don't know. There isn't even any wind. I wanted to go windsurfing this afternoon. But it would be dangerous anyway, John. The fog's so thick you can't see more than about fifty meters. Well, perhaps it will be better tomorrow. Five. When is the father's birthday? I've got to get Dad a birthday present today, and Mum wants to have a party for him on June the fourth, next Saturday. That's nice, but why don't you get one on Friday when you're in town? Because he's sixty on Thursday, and I want to give him his present on his birthday. Oh, okay. Practice test two, listening part two. For each question, write the correct answer in the gap. Write one word or a number or a date or a time. You will hear a woman talking to students about a fashion show. And now for some information about an exciting fashion show here in the town this summer. The show will be at the History Centre. I guess most of you know where that is, but for those of you who don't, it's behind the town hall. The show is in July. Oh, sorry, I've got the wrong piece of paper here. Um, ah, I mean the show will be on the first of August, and it's called Clothes for the Successful Student. At the start of the show, you will see some casual but smart shirts and blouses, just right for those university interviews. And then, in the second half of the show, shoes that are fashionable and comfortable. If you're studying fashion, tickets are only six pounds instead of the normal price of nine pounds. That's good news for fashion students. The clothes in the fashion show won't be on sale that day, but you will be able to buy a catalogue of the show to take home with you. Right now, on to the practice test two, listening part three. For each question, choose the correct answer. You will hear Tessa talking to her classmate Robert about a school project. Have you started the project for Mr. Lee yet, Tessa? The one about Australian music. Mum loves that. She'll help me. But it's about African music. Remember? Oh yes. I don't know anything about that. My favourite is American rap. I can help you. I've got some good information. Have you got a book about it then, Robert?
I haven't read anything, but I heard something on the radio and made some notes. Maybe we should get a CD too. Good idea. When do we have to give the project to Mr. Lee? On the last day of the month, just before the holidays start. That means we've only got seven days. That's right. Can we work on the project together after lessons this afternoon? Tomorrow's better. I've got other homework tonight. Okay. And do we have to write about all the different instruments? No. We can choose which one to write about. I love the guitar, and I like classical piano music too. But drums are more exciting, so let's write about those. Okay. Practice test two, listening part four. For each question, choose the correct answer. Sixteen. You will hear two friends talking about a band's new album. What do they say about it? Have you heard the new album by the Yesterdays? Yes, I bought it last week and listened to all of the songs on it. It's okay, but it isn't amazing. What do you think of it?、Mm, it's quite good, but I prefer the songs on their last album. The guitar player wrote all of them. Their last album was brilliant. Yes, it was. Seventeen. You will hear a pilot talking to passengers on a plane. What does she want them to know? We're about to land at London Airport soon. It's a sunny day there, with a temperature of 18 degrees, which is good news because all the gates are full. So you'll need to wait for a bus to the airport building. Once you are inside the airport, you'll have to show your passport before you can collect your suitcase or rucksack. Eighteen. You will hear two friends talking about last weekend. Where did they go? Last weekend was amazing, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Everyone had a lot of fun. But oh, I fell over a lot and my legs hurt. Mine too. Getting down the hill was harder than playing a whole football match. I want to go there again, but first I'm going to the sports centre to get fit. Nineteen. You will hear one of the staff at a zoo giving a talk. What does he want visitors to do? Now it's important not to give penguins food like the burgers you can buy from the zoo's restaurant. Wild penguins eat fish and small sea creatures, so today I want some of our younger visitors to help me give the penguins the fish I prepared. Okay? Now, what about you? Yes, the boy with a toy penguin from the zoo shop. Here's a fish. Twenty. You will hear a man talking to his daughter about presents. Why does the girl decide to buy her mum the umbrella? Dad, do you think mum would like this perfume for her birthday? Hmm, it's a bit expensive. What about this umbrella? Oh yes, she lost hers on the bus, and she wants a dark one. Yes, that looks perfect. And I can get her a new handbag. Oh yes, her brown bag is too small for her new tablet. Practice test two, listening part five. For each question, choose the correct answer. You will hear Eve talking to her father about her birthday presents. What did Eve's school friends give her? Look at all my presents, Dad! Wow, what did David give you, Eve? These running shoes, aren't they great? Yes, that was kind of him. Are they your size? Yes, they are. And Sandra gave me something healthier than chocolates this time. What? That beautiful box of oranges? Yes, 
there from her parents' garden. Brilliant. What about Leo? Did he give you a present too? Yes. He asked me what I wanted last week. I told him I'd like a new umbrella, but he got me this game for the computer. I don't want it really. That's a pity. I know. But look what Anna got me. It's the book I needed for science. It's really useful. And who gave you this? Was it William? Yes, it's lovely, but I don't ever wear a watch now because I always use my mobile to check the time. But I'm pleased he gave it to me. Good.